All right, I'm going to talk about the third type of selection strategy in BBA, and it's the multi-alternative. It's uh, basically your if-then, but it's got an else-if, which means that you can do multiple conditional statements within the same if statement. So the flowchart looks like this. We come into it, and we ask ourselves, is the first condition true? If that's true, then we go to code block one. If the first condition is false, then we move along and we do a second conditional statement. If that's true, we have a certain code block. Uh, if it's false, then we keep going. And then at the end, you have a final conditional statement. If it's true, you have code block N. If it's false, this is what's contained within this else code block. So if none of these are true, then this is what we do. So the way it looks in VBA, we have the if-then. If that's true, then the thing that makes this different from the previous two if-then statements, the one-way and the two-way if-then statements, is the presence of this else-if. So this else-if condition here corresponds to this second condition and so on. How would you create a function grade in VBA that would assign a letter grade to a numeric score? A for a score between 90 and 100, and B, C, and D. And if nothing else, if the score is neither of these first four options, then the student has earned an F. The flowchart for this is shown in this slide. We enter in and we ask ourselves, is the score greater than 90? If that's true, then the student receives an A. Otherwise, if the score is not greater than 90, we only have to check one thing. We just have to make sure that it's greater than 80. And this is where a lot of students go wrong, is that they oftentimes think that they need to check in this second conditional statement if the score is also less than 90, because that's what was shown in the grading scale. But we've already parsed off everything that's greater than uh, or equal to 90, so we're only considering everything of the remaining scores that has to be greater than or equal to 80 in order to get a B. And we go on, if the score is greater than 70, again, We've already parsed off everything that's greater than 80, so we don't have to consider anything that's less than 80. Then they get a C, and so on. And if nothing else, then the student gets an F. So that covers everything else up to 60. So I create a module. I make my function grade. It has an argument of only score, just a single argument. And function itself is going to be a string. It's either going to be A, B, C, D, or F. So if the score is greater than or equal to 90, grade equals A. Else if, so this is what makes this different from the previous, the two-way if then. Else if, grade greater than or equal to 80, then grade equals B. And I did have one error. This I had grade, so I've corrected that. This should be score. So I have the else if for the 80. I have the else if score greater than or equal to 70, then the grade is equal to C. Else if score greater than or equal to 60, then grade equal D. And then the else, if none of these other conditions are satisfied, grade equals F. Let's go ahead and run this. I'm in Excel. I'm going to type in the function, referencing the score. And when I press Enter, we get a grade of B. And now I can just easily drag this down and I get all of my grades. Wow, I did pretty poorly. So that's how you can use multi-alternative if-then structures in VBA. In this case, I have implemented a VBA function, but you can also do this in VBA subroutines. Thanks a lot for watching.